Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking rice cooker lor mai kai or rice cooker glutinous rice with chicken. So let's start cooking. We'll need to marinate the chicken as well as the mushroom first. I have with me over here 255 grams of chicken thai meat, kind of small pieces like this. And over here I have six pieces of Chinese mushroom which I've rehydrated and cut into halves. We'll add in half a tablespoon of fresh ginger juice. For the ginger juice, you just need to grate the ginger and squeeze out the juice. It's just that easy. I'm adding in also two tablespoons of light soy sauce. Add in one tablespoon of oyster sauce. One tablespoon of Chinese cooking wine or sao xing jiu. If you don't take alcohol, you can just omit this, it's fine. 1 teaspoon of corn flour or cornstarch. We will also need 1 teaspoon of sesame oil. Depending on how peppery you want it to be, you can just add crushed white pepper to your own liking. We'll just mix them all up and we'll leave them to marinate for about 15 to 20 minutes. I'll see you back in a while. Now we'll assemble everything before we cook it. I have with me over here 2 cups of Glutinous rice. Soak the rice for a minimum of 4 hours and to cook it, use 2 cups of water. Using the cup that comes normally with your rice cooker, we will need to season our rice. Add in 1 teaspoon of salt as well as a few dashes of pepper. If you like your rice to be more peppery, feel free to add a little bit more. It's really up to you. And now we'll add in our marinated chicken and mushroom. Just spread them all over the rice. This is a very simple dish to do. Whatever marinate over here, just pour them all in. And I'll be adding in also 55 grams of Chinese sausage. I've taken out the casing and cut them into pieces like this. I'll just spread them all over the chicken and mushroom. Removing the casing is pretty easy. You just need to soak them in hot or warm water for a minute or two and then just tear them out. Very, very simple. So once you're done with this, we'll put it into the rice cooker and cook this. I will be using a multi-cooker which can double up as a rice cooker. If you do not have a multi-cooker, always use your rice cooker. It's the same. We'll now put this into my multi-cooker. Put the lid on. And I'll set this to rice cooking. And I'll see you back in a while. The cooking process is done already. Let's have a look. Smells really heavenly. Mm. Let me just have a taste. Very soft. You can taste the sweetness coming out from the mushroom, the chicken, as well as the Chinese sausage. This is fantastic. So now it's time to have our lunch. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. Mm. Very, very flavorful. The combination of the chicken, the Chinese sausage, as well as the mushroom, this is really an incredible dish. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.